hi, as you can see, I am not Tanner Tech. I'm actually Tanner's dad. And he's actually still out serving in the Dallas, Texas area on his mission. He'll be back this coming summer. Um, but I wanted to take a few minutes and record a quick update. He's doing awesome out there. He's loving it. Uh, things are going great. But also, I wanted to record my own version of a Tanner Tech video because uh, there's a lack of videos out there on how to upgrade a hard drive on one of these HP com all-in-one computers. And I messed up trying to take my wife's apart. And I, as you can see, I screwed up her screen. So I wanted to make a real quick video here on how you can take one of these things apart without destroying it. So let's get started. Tanner Tech, Tanner Tech, Tanner, Tanner Tech, Tanner Tech, Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. The first thing you want to do is pop this little cap off here, as well as these little rubber tabs here on the side. These just kind of pop out, and that gives you access to these screws right here. Those will take off the base. Once the base is off, your next step is to pull out these two screws as well as pop this cap off, this front cap off right here. You're going to do that just with either a pair of just a regular flathead screwdriver or you can use some of these popping tools here that I just bought on Amazon. Make sure you kind of go around the edge and pop them off. That way you don't break anything and you can easily snap the thing back together. Just like that. This next step you should have one, two, three, and four screws. Go ahead and take those out. Okay, for this next step, now this is where I really messed up. There are little tabs that go all the way around the edge of the screen that are popped into the screen. And if you don't pop those out first, that's where you're gonna break the screen. And what I accidentally did is I tried prying this thing up right here and I busted the screen right here, which just cracked all the way along here and ruined the whole monitor as well as the whole computer because you can't really replace one of these monitors. The whole thing's junk if you break it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out. Once you have all those tabs popped out and all the screws, the screen should just lift right up and pop right off, exposing the whole hard drive and motherboard and everything that you need to update the screen, the computer. Once you've got everything out and you pull the screen off, you can unplug the monitors by popping this little tab out. Um, you'll have this little dangly cord here. Just kind of set that aside. Just remember how you took it apart so you can put it back together. Now to take off the hard drive, you've got one, two, three screws you need to pop out and then the whole thing will just lift right out. Now you'll need to clone your hard drive using one of the free programs like Macrium, Macrium Reflect. Um, and you'll also need a device similar to this where you can uh, go ahead and hook your new hard drive up to the, the computer and clone it. There's lots of YouTube videos on there. I'll put one, a link in the description on how to clone a hard drive. Um, but uh, with this particular computer, you have to clone the hard drive uh, because there's only one port for an SATA cable. So you can't hook both hard drives up at the same time. Um, shouldn't be too hard. There's lots of YouTube videos on how to do that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, click the subscribe button. And uh, Tanner Tech will be back soon. So uh, have a great day.